Hi, my name is David Walker. I'm with Helix Telecom. Um, what I'm going to do today is a real quick video that shows you how to connect the A48W and the A10W um, to a wireless network. Now, both of the, all the uh, ACOM phones, including the A10, A20, uh, the A48, A41, and A68, all come with a, a LAN cable in the back to plug in into your wired network, and they come with a PC port to plug in your PC. Most customers have questions about how to put in the wireless password. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect this to our wireless network, which is Private24, and uh, the password is going to be capital P A S S W R D one two three four and capital P and the rest of it's lowercase. And uh, this is going to be real quick because I don't want to I don't want to have to spend a whole lot of time watching the video. So um, so what you're going to do is uh, when the 848W once you boot it up and you connect it to power, um, it's going to show you that the network is disconnected. Now this phone has been connected previously. It was assigned extension 1001, and uh, that's going to you can see the line through the the extension number shows it's not connected, right? And it says network dis disconnected. So we need to do is connect it to, to wireless. So what I'm gonna do is, um, this phone has been connected to wireless before, so we might have a glitch in here, but we're gonna try doing this anyway. So what you do is press the menu button. Now, because of the, uh, how bright it is in here, you're gonna see uh, this status has a kind of like a box behind it. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these keys here to move around. And we're gonna arrow down once to get to messages, and then we're going to arrow to the right once to get to settings. And then we're going to press this little checkbox here to select settings. What we want is basic settings. So we're going to press the checkbox again. And we want Wi-Fi settings. And we're going to arrow down. And we're going to press the checkbox again. And we want WLAN. That's what we want is wireless LAN is WLAN. And we're going to go ahead and press the checkbox again. Now it's going to say it's initializing. It's going to search for available networks. And uh, we want private 24. So I'm going to highlight Private 24, press the checkbox again. Oh, I'm sorry, it did the connect button here. So we're gonna press connect, and it's gonna ask for the password. Now, it's capital P is the first letter, so this is lowercase letters. We have uppercase letters, and then we letter numbers and letters. What we want is, we want the uppercase P, make this easy, so CP, and then we're gonna press this button again a couple more times until we get the lowercase, we're going to go A, as, and then and you press, every time you press the button, you're going to see it changes up here. So we're going to do it again. And press it. See, this is P, Q, R. We want S. And then we want the W, W, O, R, D. And it's D is the letter D, okay? And then we want one, two, three, four. So I'm going to press the selection here again until we get numbers. We want one, two, three, four. Now, as you notice, it doesn't. It just puts in the star key, the star button up, uh, uh, indicator up here. Uh, when you're pressing numbers, um, there's no menu to select from. So um, then, when we're done, we hit connect, and it says verifying password. Now, I wish this would take you back to the main screen, but it doesn't. Now you see private 24, and it says it's connected. What we're gonna do is press the back button about four or five times here until we get back to the main screen. Now you can see this icon up here is a wireless icon. If there's, an, if there's this, a question mark on it or an exclamation point, that means it's not connected, but we have no question mark or exclamation point. So we're good here. Um, you can see it's a correct date and time, and we have our extension number. And uh, the little line that was going through the telephone showing it was disconnected is no longer there, and we also lost our error message in the middle of the screen. That's it. You, we now connected the A48W. So I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the A10W and do the same thing. Um, so uh, this is uh, a little more complicated because we don't have as big of a screen, but I'll show you how to do it. What we're going to do is we're going to go and press the menu button, and we're going to arrow down to network. We've got network, and I'm going to hit select, select network. And we want is we want Wi-Fi. So I'm going to hit select. And we want wireless LAN, WLAN, just like on the A48. Hit select. Now it's going to it's going to search for available networks and it'll pop up a menu. And what we want is we want private 24. So if you have an arrow up and down here, it'll give you a list of networks. And if it's really poor, it's going to say poor. Um, you really want to go with um, at least good or excellent. And I'm a little bit of, I'm a little bit distance away from the access point, so it's going to say good. Um, so what you do is hit connect. Now, the trick on the, A40, on the A10 and A20, then make sure you press this until you see this appear on the screen. One, lowercase a, capital A. 
because there's no, um, uh, you can't change that once you start putting in a password. Right? So what we're going to do is, I want to put in a capital P. So if you notice it's a 7, there's lowercase letters first, and then we get uppercase, uppercase P. And I'm going to press the A, A, and then we're going to go to S. Okay, and then we're going to go to S again. Okay, and then W is on the bottom right here. Password, I right, spelled that out. Now the one doesn't have any other letters on it. So if you press the one, it's just going to show it a, a star key, okay? So keep that in mind. And I press the two, one, two, three, wait for that to go away, and four. So that's password one, two, three, four. It's okay. And uh, it says 30 seconds, it won't take 30 seconds. Now this phone has never been connected before. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, okay? And um, there you go. And you can see the lines connected. Now, um, once the once it's connected, this is the first time this phone has ever been programmed. So what it's going to do is going to start downloading its firmware. It's going to download its updates. It's going to reboot probably once or twice. Um, and once it reboots a couple times, um, you're you're going to be good to go. It's going to show the a code on the top up here, showing you the uh, um, the, the the MAC address. Um, and then when you're ready to program it, you can either dial six one one pound. So it's 611 pound to activate it, or you can call sales at 855-219-2700, assuming that's the valid phone number at the time. Um, otherwise, just follow the instructions were included when you uh, signed up for service. Uh, when the phones are shipped, it should be with your tracking information. All right, and if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, right now, the web address is fixmyphonesystem.com for support, or uh, mynewphonesystem.com for sales. Have a great day. Thank you very much for, for uh, watching this video, and uh, take care.